This is another Neptuna style villa. So it's a three bedroom, three bathroom property. We can start you off in the, in the main living room. Just, we're just coming through the, the sun terrace. So you've got the main living room, you've got a television there, plenty of room for seating. In the back here, you've got two bedrooms, two double bedrooms. What I love about these properties is that they're nice and spacious. So you go through the archway. To the left is a bedroom, which then has its own, what I would call walk-through wardrobe. So it's double bed, air conditioning, heating. We then walk through the corridor, which is plenty of storage, into your own ensuite, fully kitted out in the bathroom. We then come out, we got the other bedroom, Another double size bedroom with its ensuite as well, fully kitted out. Plenty of, plenty of room there. Like I said all before, it's got air conditioning, heating. So we come out, we come out into the dining area, and then we walk down into the kitchen. It's a nice, fully fitted out kitchen with all its white goods. So we then go out the back door, and this is what I call the pierce of resistance. <laughs> you come out your back door, you go up the steps to the third bedroom. Now this could also be your, um, your main bedroom, or it could be for your guests, so we're out of the way. <laughs> it's got the steps, you go into a big room. There's a double bed, there's a single bed. Just to show you, just shows you the size of these rooms. Got its own ensuite bathroom. It's got walk-in shower, and this is the best part. You come out onto the terrace. This is what I call the sun terrace. It's got numerous names, but I call it the sun terrace. You've got a lovely view. You've got a view of the mountains, but you might have to sit out there in the sun. You probably noticed there's a satellite dish. Well, we've all got to watch our telly, haven't we? And there's plenty, you've got no problem with watching all the channels you like. It's just, you can't believe the amount of channels you've got. It's got broadband, so you've got no problem with the internet. So we're outside in the garden now. So you've got a nice big pool here. This opens up. So you've got plenty of shade. As you can see now, the sun's just coming around. It's coming up to about midday now. As you can imagine, later on in the day, it's going to be over this direction. And then it'll be setting over that way. So you, you can sit outside. Just behind you is the barbecue area. There's also further storage down the side of the house. You've got off-road parking. You've got nice electric gates. You can just drive in, press the button, just straight in. Can't see it, but there's more seat in there, plenty of storage areas, you've got a nice big shed over there. So I'm just going to take a quick gander up around the pool. My, some people are going to say, why has it got a cover on? The main reason why it's got a cover on, it keeps the water hotter. Because this time of year, it's, we're talking sort of mid-April now, still in the 20s, but with this cover on, it's warms the water up another extra five, even possible 10 degrees, so it brings it up to 30. So if you wanted to go swimming today, you just unreal it, and then, um, nice hot water. What more can you ask? You've got your cleaning gear here. You've got the pump over there. Right, another main reason why I've come out here is, is because it's quiet. You imagine sitting out here, can you just hear the birds now? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a lovely big property. As you can see, the sun's just coming around. It's about midday now. So you can imagine out on the pool, lovely. So the property's in the market for 189,950. It comes furnished. As you, I said before, it comes with heating, air conditioning. 
It has got an underbuild, so you can do more storage. Any more information you need to know, do not ask me, because I, I can't tell you. Best people ask. It's other world properties, Billy and Sue, ever so nice people. They put you sh straight, right from the beginning, what you need to know about uh, if you want to come and look at the property first. Obviously, it's a good idea. Like I've always said before, guys, don't just buy it off the internet. You need to come out and have a look because you might love the property, but you just might not like the area. But I'm sure if you see the property, you're going to love it. <clears throat> a lot of people suggest that you rent, which is I think is a good idea. But yeah, so contact Vinnie Sue. They give you more information that you need to know. So hope you enjoyed that. Catch you on the next one. So until next time, keep watching. See you again soon.